In 2006, federal grant money was obtained to build an advanced treatment system. Now, this tertiary system was engineered specifically to remove even more of the phosphorus from our wastewater. Investigation has shown that phosphorus is a significant pollutant of the south end of Cayuga Lake. The phosphorus that remains in our effluent is mostly found as small, light, suspended particles. The tertiary system uses two different chemicals to help the particles clump together. We also add fine engineered sand that also sticks to the clumps, making them heavier. I bet you can guess what we do with those heavier particles. The flow goes into a small settling chamber where the heavy particles settle to the bottom where they can be removed. Just like in the previous treatment steps, a pump removes the sludge from the bottom of a settling tank. But before it is pumped away for further treatment, the sludge passes through a device that separates out most of the sand for reuse. It typically takes about 18 hours for the wastewater to pass through the primary and secondary treatment systems. And as you recall, that removes about 92 to 95 percent of the pollutants. The tertiary system takes only about 20 minutes, and that removes about half of the remaining phosphorus. So we typically end up with 95 to 97 percent removal rates, much better than the required 85 percent. I should note that phosphorus is regulated differently than most other pollutants. Rather than having a percent removal requirement or a concentration-based limit, we have a pounds per day limit. Now we get in typically 240 pounds of phosphorus in a day. We're allowed to discharge up to 40 pounds on average a day. And with the tertiary system, we're actually only discharging 10 pounds or so a day. And that accounts for about 10% of the phosphorus loading on the south end of the lake. Uh, most of the phosphorus is coming in uh, in runoff from streams that uh, enter the, the lake. After the tertiary treatment, the last step involves disinfecting the effluent with chlorine bleach. The bleach used at the plant is three times stronger than household bleach and is safer and cheaper than gaseous chlorine. The bleach mixes with the effluent in the pipe that travels from our plant to the lake. Now, it has enough time to mix with and kill off any residual bacteria, including those that might cause human disease. But bleach, of course, isn't good for any living thing, so we don't want to release any remaining chlorine into the lake. So before it reaches the lake, there's a dechlorination building where, through a reaction with sulfur dioxide gas, any residual chlorine is removed. The effluent pipe is buried at the bottom of the lake and actually disperses effluent over a span of 240 feet. This is a diver's eye view of six-inch riser pipes in Cayuga Lake. The final video segment is going to cover how all the different sludges removed from each step of the treatment process are treated and disposed of.